an earring. We'll get her cleaned up. There's words on it. Well, looks like we got some silver here. For definite pointers to all the foundations. It looks like I found something that looks like a heart. All right, so I think I might have maybe found a ring. An image on it. Welcome back to another episode of Blue Creek Detectors. Hope y'all are doing good out there. Well, I'm out here at an old place, old farm place I've uh, detected quite a few times. And uh, found some stuff out here before. In the past, found an 1892 dime, quite a few wheat pennies and some other things. So, yeah, it's not been too bad of a place. So, it's a beautiful place out here too. So, sit back and relax, enjoy, and check out some of our other episodes. Sure, but I think this here might be an earring. Yeah, what do you all think? All right, and right here, got a very corroded pocket knife, but we'll take it. Okay, looks like we got ourselves another pocket knife. That would be easy with it, I don't want to break it. We'll get her cleaned up. There's words on it. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll get her cleaned up a little bit later and see what's on it. And right there it is. Canal National Bank of Charleston. All right. Here we have the beautiful and historic National Canal Bank of Charleston, originally founded in the 1800s by the owners of the Charleston Salt Works, William Dickinson and Sons. The bank endured the financial crisis of 1929 and is still currently standing at Capitol Street in Charleston, West Virginia. For more information, check out DickinsonWestVirginia.com or DickinsonWV.com. A bit of a peculiar buckle or strap or something of some kind. Yep, definitely interesting looking. It's got a little point on it right there. All right. Well, it looks like we got us some silver here. Old mercury dime, check that out. All right, that's cool, we'll take that. Looks like it says 1945 maybe. Okay, got some silver. Right, so it looks like I found something that looks like a heart. What do y'all think it might have been? That's pretty interesting looking. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I wonder if it's part to a locket maybe or a necklace. Now, does this look like the end to a pipe or a whistle or something? It's definitely interesting looking. That is definitely different. All right, cool. And right here, I think it's another dime. I can't tell. It's almost completely gone. The image on it. Oh, I don't know. Huh. Yeah, I don't know yet. We'll have to uh, get a better look at that later on and see what that is. It's really worn out. All right, we'll uh, check it out after a while. Hopefully there's something on it. Now I think this might have gold on it, or either it is gold. I'm not really sure yet. Really tiny too. Just fading in on the detector. Huh. That is definitely interesting. Might have been pieced to a necklace, broke off maybe or something. I don't know. But it is definitely interesting looking. And right there. Dug up a lead bag seal. It was next to this old melted jug. But yeah, it's got numbers on it. Uh, there's something on it. Yeah, on this side it says uh, 323 or 023 or something like that. Huh, that's pretty interesting. Cool. Found this interesting piece of something. 
I'm not really sure. Huh. Definitely interesting looking. I don't know. No, oh, it's a washer. <laughs> well, you'll have it. Sometimes they sound really good. Round in brass or round in copper. <laughs> Don't know yet. I'm not sure about that one. <sighs> Let me get it a little bit more visible and I'll get back to you. Alrighty, here we go. It's definitely a wheat scent. You can see it back on the back there now. Yep. Hmm, piece of melted glass or something right there hmm. hard to put the thing down anywhere everything's metal <laughs> all right what's in here oh it's an old spark plug <laughs> all right There it is, another weedy. All right, cool. All right, so I think I might have maybe found a ring, but it looks crushed. It was coming up 40, 45 on Gary's sonar, which typically I wouldn't imagine that'd have been a good tone, but apparently it is. Yeah, you can kind of tell there's something going on here. Huh. All right, we'll see what it is a little bit later. I think that's what it is, though. It's just really mangled up. All right. I'm not sure what that is. Not yet. Uh, it might be trash. Who knows? But I'll take it with me and clean it up later.
some kind of hinge or something. Yep. That's pretty cool looking. And got a Montag. I can't see a number yet, but I'll get back with y'all when I get it. All right, cool. And for the next find, I got a buckle that's still got some leather on it here. That's pretty cool. Hmm. All right, cool find. Right here, got a doorknob. This is that same area I found that old 1892 down. So there's probably a, quite a bit of different era of items in this area. So. Okay. Well, I found this, and I'm gonna tell you, that's probably the biggest wheel weight I think I've ever seen. I don't see, I see a number on it. Can't really tell, I just see an arrow with maybe a 16 on it or something, but goodness, look at that thing. Yeah, right here we got ourselves a small buckle. Yep. Okay, we will take it. Yep, got another mine tag. Right here. Uh, 35, 38, something like that. 36 maybe. A lot of times these old daffodils and stuff are definitely pointers to old home foundations or places where people live. And they can kind of point you in the right direction sometimes. So, yeah, we love seeing these things. Well, everybody, hope you all enjoyed today's episode. No, we didn't find much today, but you never know unless you get out and look. Can't complain too much. This place got me some stuff last time I was here. Like I said, that 1892 dime, a bunch of pennies, that one foreign coin, and quite a few other things. So, all right, you all take care, and we appreciate y'all watching. We'll catch you on the next one.